I know you're waiting for me to chop up my fingers, but that's not gonna happen. Oh, famous last words. Guess what we're making today? Uh, I don't know. We're making chili. My version of chili anyways. Um, I've had a few people request chili being made in the Instant Pot. So that's what we're doing today. So I'm just slicing up my onion. I was gonna say, when was the last time I actually cut myself? And that has happened though. I need a knife skills class. I'm putting sausages in my chili. So I'm just gonna cut them up into little cubes. This is a, I think the name of it was a home style garlic sausage. Oh my goodness, every time. Okay, I'm going to put it on saute mode, on normal. And I am going to wait for that to heat up. This is a super simple recipe. It's pretty much just throw everything in the pot and set it to cook and let it go. That's not completely true because I'm going to brown my onions and brown my beef first, but then everything else can just go in after. Liar. <laughs> okay. The pot doesn't actually say hot, but it feels pretty hot. So I'm going to get started because I'm impatient. I had two tablespoons of oil in there. Now I'm tossing in my onions. I'm just gonna cook this for about three to five minutes, depending. You just want them softened. So I'm gonna add about, I don't know, two cloves of garlic, minced. I'm using this already pre-minced garlic. And I never cook my garlic and my onion together at the same time because I find that the garlic tends to burn or cook faster. So I just add it when my onions are almost done um, cooking. And then I add the garlic and just stir that for about 30 seconds until it's fragrant. I'm gonna add my ground beef. It's about a pound, pound and a half. Can, you don't have to use beef if you're not eating beef. You can use turkey and turkey sausage instead, but I'm using ground beef. And um, I think it's a pork and beef sausage. So we're just gonna brown the meat and then add the rest of the ingredients. Okay, I'm going to add a teaspoon of salt. This is straight to the meat. Teaspoon of oregano. Teaspoon of cumin. Add two tablespoons of chili powder. I'm gonna eyeball this because I think that's about two tablespoons of I had left in there. And then whatever I have left of this parsley is probably about a tablespoon. I'm just gonna stir this up. I'm gonna cancel saute mode. Putting in one cup of water. I'm putting the water at the bottom because I find that if the tomato's at the bottom, it'll tend to burn or scorch. So let's try to avoid that. And what's next? I put in my sausage that I've chopped up. I'm using one can of kidney beans that I've already rinsed and drained. One can of pinto beans, already washed and drained. One can of diced green chili. I'm just using mild. 
Oh, I forgot about the spices that if you decide that you would like it spicier, I'm making a very mild chili. So I am not adding any cayenne, but you are absolutely welcome to add cayenne up to, well, depending on how spicy you want it, probably no more than a tablespoon, I would imagine. Um, what's that one here? Sorry. I'm going to put in two tablespoons of tomato paste and I keep these frozen. Um, this is, I put it in parchment paper and if you've watched some of my previous episodes, I do talk about um, storing unused tomato paste in the freezer so that you always have some on hand instead of that little can that goes to waste. So I've got each round is about a tablespoon. So I'm just going to add. Two tablespoons here. And my can of tomatoes I'm putting right on top. I forgot to add pepper. Just do that now. Okay, I'm not even going to stir it. I'm just going to let it be. Where's my lid? Right back. Okay, locking my lid in place, making sure the sealing knob is on sealing. And I am going to manual. Where's manual? And we're just going to cook that for 10 minutes. Won't take long. That's it. Back in 10 minutes, plus, plus come up to pressure time. See you in a bit. All right, the chili has finished cooking and I'm gonna take my wooden spoon to let it slowly, quick release. So what I love about the Smart Pot is that I can see what's going on inside the pot. And right now it says the pressure level is low. So I am going to quick release the rest of the pressure and not have to worry about buttering just in case. Woo! Looks good. You know, sometimes it looks really liquidy, but after you give it a good stir, all of the liquid will um, combine with the rest of the ingredients. Some cheese. I have Monterey Jack cheese here and some cilantro. All right, that was super easy. I hope that you like this video and if you do, please click like. And if you don't already subscribe to my channel, I hope that you'll hit subscribe so that you'll be notified of new videos. Also, please follow me on Instagram, um, not just photos, but Instagram stories as well. All right, thanks for watching. Oh man. Did I you missed. get it? No, I missed it. <laughs> I told you so. But whatever, you never listened to me anyways. <laughs>